Hi, welcome to Glow's Kinder Kitchen. I'm Glow, and today we are going to be making spare ribs in the oven. Actually, it's baby back ribs, to be precise. Um, I'm going to go ahead, I opened my package and I've washed my meat, and I'm going to go ahead and put it over here in the foil. I have lined the foil on a baking pan, like a almost like a large cookie pan with, with the sides on it, one inch sides. And what I do is I'm going to be taking this seasoning, it's a barbecue seasoning by Paul, Paul Prudhomme, and I'm going to be putting that liberally over the whole thing. And when I am using aluminum foil, I use the shiny side towards the meat. And the reason I do that is that the, the shiny side is not milled with another piece of metal. Or foil and um, the dull side is it really doesn't matter which side you use they say but I've always just used the shiny side if you buy the non-stick though foil there is a difference and you got to use the side that's non-stick towards your meat okay now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the other side Quite often these ribs come with like a silver skin on the back side that you pull off and I wanted to show you that on this one. However, this particular um, rack of ribs did not have that on there. But if it did, you would just take a knife and start pulling and you would just pull off and it just comes right off, usually in one or two pieces. You have to do it kind of slowly though. If you leave it on, it, you can do that, but it makes it a little more difficult to eat. So you can tell I'm doing this quite liberally. And I've had this rack of ribs setting out on the counter for about a half an hour prior to this to get kind of to room temperature. I'm just going to put a little, whoop, a little bit more on top. Now I could do it like this, but it's kind of tight, so that's why I'm doing it on an angle. And I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. And what you want to do, you want to just fold your foil over. And then foil, roll it up like that on each end. There. And I've got my uh, garbage basket here, like I usually have for my you know, for all my trash that I have. I'm going to wash my hands, and as usual, I always have a sink full of soapy water. I can put my dirty dishes in it or wash my hands in it. It just makes it a lot easier. There. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this over to the oven and I'll put it in the oven at 300 to 325 for two hours and I'm going to roast this one today at 325. I'll see you back in two hours. Hi, welcome back. I'm going to go ahead and take the ribs out of the oven. They've been in there for two hours now and we'll see how, what they look like and we'll probably be time to put on the barbecue sauce. So. Oh, good. I'm going to close up the oven. The most important thing to remember when you're going to open up this foil is to always open it away from you because when I open this up, there's going to be a lot of steam coming out. I'm going to take a fork to help me with this because I know it's going to be hot. I'm going to turn this away a little bit like this because my husband is very close to this pan filming this and I don't want the steam to burn him either. But you can already see the steam starting to come out. So 
See all that steam? That's a lot of steam, Miss Glow. Oh, does that look good? You can smell it. Looks smells good too. So let me turn it back so we can all see it. And you can tell that these ribs are just starting to fall apart. You can see how they're just uh, nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and I we both enjoy the sweet baby's rays. We also like a couple of other barbecue sauces, and we also make our own. But tonight we're gonna use this. This is what I had on hand. And always make sure you shake it up good. And I'm gonna put this over the top. Oh, does that look good? And I take the back of a spoon and just kind of spread it on. You can use a, you know, a, a like a pastry or barbecue brush also. I found that this works well for, for stuff like this, though. It's easier for cleanup, too. So what I'm going to do now, I think that's enough. What do you think, Richard? I think it's sufficient. Looks mm -hmm. good. All right. So I'm going to put this back in the oven just to brown up just a little bit. Now I'm going to just turn the foil like this and look at all those nice juices there, too. Let me open up my oven door. Take this. And I will be increasing the heat on this in the oven to about 350. It'll be in there about another 15 minutes or 20 minutes, and it should be done. Let me, there we go. And then we have potatoes in the other oven that are roasting that will go with dinner as well. So we'll take a look at that in a little bit as well. Thank you so much. We'll see you back in just a little bit. Bye. Hi. Welcome back to Glow's Kinder Kitchen, and I'm Glow. I wish all of you were here right now. This kitchen smells awesome, and we can hardly wait to eat. Our ribs are pretty much done. I'm going to pull them out of the oven so you guys can see what they look like. The potatoes are done that are in the oven. So if you hold just a moment, I'll pull these out. Oh my goodness. Doesn't that look good? Sure does, Miss Glow. They look so good. Uh, they're definitely done. I'm gonna let them rest here for about 10 minutes or so before we cut into them. But you can tell that they are just like so tender. So in the meantime, I'm gonna be pulling the potatoes out and we'll dish this up so you guys can see what it looks like. I wish you were here again, like I said earlier, to be around our table to eat this. So anyway, I'll see you back in just a few minutes. Thank you, bye. Hi, I'm Glow, and I just wanted to show you the plate that we did here with our barbecue ribs and our roasted potatoes and our coleslaw. Doesn't that look delicious? And I just wanted to take a bite to let you guys know if it's good or not. It is so good. I don't mean to, mean to brag, but it is delicious. There's nothing like home cooking. So again, I want to thank you for coming and joining us today. And um, I just wish you all have a wonderful day. And if you like this and um, enjoyed this today, would you please like and subscribe our channel? We would really appreciate it. And again, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining Glow's Kindred Kitchens. Bye.